Okay, B3, problem number four, the directions are solve for x. Okay, this is called a, a linear equation. I'm going to solve for x by getting x by itself. My final answer should be x equals and then some value. Alright, so how do I do that? i got to follow my algebraic process in this case. I have an x term and a number term here, x term and a number term here. There's no simplification to do on either side of the equation. There's no parentheses, no like terms to combine. So I can go to the step of algebra where I'm going to subtract the same value or add the same value to both sides. Okay, that's what I want to do next. In other words, I want to get my x's on one side and numbers on the other. Okay, so you get, there's two ways to do that. First step, I can subtract 7x from both sides or I can subtract 3x from both sides. It doesn't matter. In the end, you'll get the same answer because um, you're not really changing the equality. Uh, what I like to do is if I can keep my x term positive, all right? So what I'm going to do is subtract 3x from both sides. Let's see if I subtract 3x from 7x, I'll have a positive 4x. Uh, so that gets rid of the x term on my right side, because 3x minus 3x is 0, 7x minus 3x is 4x. Okay. Now I rewrite the rest of the equation, minus 9 equals, don't forget that negative sign, I got a negative 11 here, I didn't do anything with that, it's still negative 11, alright, the next step is to add the number 9 to both sides, right, I've got my x terms over here on the left side, so I can take my numbers over here, what I got to do is add 9 to both sides, and then I'll have the x term isolated, because negative 9 plus 9 is 0, and that's gone, that leaves you with 4x is equal to negative 11 plus 9, negative 2. Okay? So I've isolated the x term, I got it by itself on one side and the number term on the other. So the last step, we need to divide by the coefficient of x, we divide by 4. Right? Whatever this number is here, that's what I divide by. Okay? It happens to be positive, so I divide by the positive. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1x is what I'm looking for. Divide this by 4. I gotta divide the negative two by four, both sides by four. Okay, so my answer is x equals negative two fourths. That should stick out. That's not a reduced fraction. I can see that two will go into both of those, so I can reduce it. And I take two into both of those. I get one half. It was negative. It's still negative. Okay. So my final answer then is x is negative one half. Okay, remember, you can do the check on these problems. Um, that is, take your solution, put it back into here, and see if, in fact, you get the same thing on both sides of the equation. Okay, that's the solution to that one. Uh, for number four, do the rest of your homework now. Remember, you've got to do your homework in order to pass this course.